Hi, in this video, you'll see something you definitely haven't seen before. Let us know in the comments if you know what it is. Let's get started. Okay, to begin with, we will generate a portrait of a woman over, we will work. Let's start with an introduction. Elements, because that's the name of this editing mode, introduces a very interesting and easy to use panel in the form of a sliding button. Where we move the values from minus 1.0 all the way up to 2.0, so we can adjust how much we want to use a particular element in our image. The recommended value is from 0.2 to 1 for best results, but it is worth combining with different values and different elements. You can combine up to four elements. The elements are 16 in total. Okay, we have our virtual model. Now let's add some Celtic vibe to it. I have just selected Celtic Punk in the tab, and now we will move the button to three positions, starting at 0.30, continuing at 0.60 and ending at 1.0 to illustrate to you the differences in intensity of the element used and what changes it causes in our images. As you can see, at the lowest value, the changes are quite subtle, but you can already sense a druidic circle or a dryad approaching us. At a higher value, the ornaments appear more and are already more pronounced. Our model wore a beautiful sapphire necklace. You can see that she is happy with our choice. And at a value of 1.0, you can say that they are already preparing her role in the new part of Asterix and Obelix. In my opinion, just wow, it looks wonderful. I make no secret that this is one of my favorite elements. And how do you like it? Let me know in the comments at the end of the video which element you like best. Well, good. Now we will add some heat, Our Lady. Well, maybe not literally because she would get burned. Please don't do it at home. Well, you know what I meant, Inferno? This is another item we will test. The system will be the same, the same values, but you can experiment, for example, giving her embers with a value of minus 1.0, weird, huh? We'll see how it works right away. Our star is already all aflame in anticipation of the publication of this video. She is drawn to the limelight. Well, but for the moment, she has a lot to put out because just moments ago, she was a druidic contender. You can already see how Inferno works. It adds not so much spice as literal fire, infernos, and horns. A cool tool you can have super fun with. In a little while, I'll show you a full overview of the work using different elements to show the overall concept. Remember how I talked about giving fire on the downside? Well now look, we offered our lady a little less fire and what happened? The fire stayed and she went to get her friend, who certainly looks less threatening than our model, but what fire is still there? In the variant where it's minus 1.0, the fire is still there in our picture. Another friend came who looks great, but okay, let's get down to specifics. I'll show you a magic trick of mixing elements. It's like making cocktails only a little bit. In this case, we'll add some Inferno, Pirate Rum, and Gold. Let's see what we get out. Well, our rising star is back. She certainly doesn't have scurvy, for that she dressed quite strangely. In the first photo, it's a bit like she forgot to take off the tiara before playing pirates. Well, she definitely didn't forget the fire because the whole boat is on fire. You can see how these styles can be combined. I think the handling is simple and will not cause problems. Pay attention to the number of individual elements on the sliders. We will change a single value and see what happens. Boom! Well, this time a friend of our model returned and she managed to put out the fire. Bravo. Now you can see some decorative lanterns in the background. Okay, now get ready because I'm going to show you an overview of all the elements and how they affect the photo. We start with a starter photo to highlight the changes. And now enjoy watching. If you persevered to the end, then I sincerely thank you for watching. 
I encourage you to leave a like and subscribe if you like my work and you certainly will not miss the next episode. And do not forget to answer the question that was asked earlier by.